Okay, welcome back. You got Mark Tukey here in commentary here on field four. Uh, we've got uh, Molga versus the East Coast Sharks, and now joining me here in commentary for this final game here at the Murray Carnival in the sixth game for the day. I've got uh, Nathan Tinga Blacklock. How are you, buddy? How you been? Oh, I've been good, mate. I've been good. You've been warmer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's sitting here shivering. He's got uh, not not much body fat, and he still getting blown away by this breeze which has been relentless all day so uh, we've got uh, these two boy two teams out here on the field we're about to have a minute silence for a uh, one of our um, elders um, that passed away earlier today actually so a bit of a sad time but um, the teams have just paid their respects uh, by a moment of silence and um, thoughts go out to Shawnee Yorston and his family yeah. um, um, never, never good times when that happens. But um, our thoughts are with them. So, if you've just joined us here, Merga are in the orange. Uh, they are running left to right as we look at the field, and the uh, East Coast Sharks are in the grey slash blue and yellow jersey. So um, they'll be kicking off. We just need to get a footy, and uh, we'll get cracking. It um, as you're looking at the field, the for the uh, wind is um, howling it's coming from uh, the far left um, try line across from Merga across to the uh, East Coast Sharks so it's uh, Merga are definitely going to have um, are going to have the breeze behind their back early in this uh, in this game so um, just waiting for some footies Been a lot of good footy uh, being played, Tingy. You've had a good chance to look at them all. Absolutely, the ladies have really impressed me watching yeah. them play. Yeah. What they, team? Um, uh, what team? I heard uh, Mungandai a uh, a pretty good looking team at the moment. Uh, anyone else impressed? Yeah, the uh, Brisbane Knaves. Brisbane Knaves really again. Side. I think yeah. they've been their perennial finalists, aren't they? So. Yeah. I haven't, well, watched, I haven't watched the Mungandoy, uh, Mungandoy no, side. Well, they've yet. been here on field four, and they've uh, really, really been pretty clinical. So. Here we go, Murga coming off their line to start this game versus the East Coast Sharks, and that's a nice strong carry. Uh, looks like it's going to be a bit of a high quality game here. Both sides are very competitive, and uh, let's play two. Nice quick play of the ball. They're coming up through the middle already. There's a few uh, There's a few NRL players on show uh, out here for the uh, Murga. For Murga, they've, uh, they've got a pretty good side. Travis Waddell, ex NRL. Um, oh, that was nice and easy as he slides through there. Rakeen Alda slides through. <coughs> Merga on the attack straight away. Ten metres out. Here we go, front rower ripping in through the middle there. Big Good little defense. swap. Big, yeah, nice. Uh, fifth and last, he's looking for a penalty. Out they go here, the six. Oh, <laughs> on the phone! Put him the in. big man. Oh. Oh. No. Oh, that was unlucky. Unlucky. The big fella got an intercept. Was he the 15? Big Jolie Gaden Jr. Young Brenton Byra. Well, I was about to track him down. Brenton's uh, Royston Lightning's young fella. Oh. Um, number two, yeah. So he's with the Dolphins. Okay. Uh, along with the uh, fullback... Um, Trey Fuller, so yeah, he's he's uh, with, with the Dolphins as well, so it's good to see these guys out playing. Yeah, with this um, we, um, good talent on show, right, we'll keep an eye out for those guys, for sure. Um, I was just going through, um, you see Brenton Barber out there, Brenko Lee's also out there, so murga has got a few, here we go, this looks pretty f slick. Yeah, there's the first try. Um, Trey Fuller just showed there, he's just um, a bit Got some wheels, hasn't he? Got some wheels. Got out. <laughs> just, yeah, just got, out, got outside the players, you know. Yep. Step, got out. Got out around him. Just drawn past. Wing had a bit of work to do, but um, I think he dived three meters out and slid over. <laughs> yeah. So he, yeah. he got caught in the wind, mate. He did. He did. He did. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was Joseph Pearson. Uh, went in for a try. Um, for the first try for Mulga, they lead four nil. Um, tough kick here uh, across the breeze. So. Um, Bit of a shaky start uh, for the East Coast Sharks, but um, 
Yeah, um, there's definitely a little bit of skill there shown by Trey Fuller and those guys. Um, there was a bit of a set play from the scrum. Score the first try, you play one. Yeah, no, no, the um, the uh, East Coast Sharks had an opportunity, didn't they? Uh, the big <laughs> collar picked the ball up, he was off. Um, just unfortunately, the uh, speedster come up out on his left side, couldn't catch the ball. Yeah, big Jaden Gaiden. Uh, Joel Gaiden, sorry, he... Uh, Got the intercept and uh, yeah, he knew he didn't have the legs and uh, had Michael Butler um, s um, sniffing on his outside, but just yeah, couldn't take the footy and uh, Mergo uh, as a class side have just uh, capitalised on the uh, capitalised on their mistake. But uh, yeah, Liam Georgetown, I see his name down there as well. He's uh, having a run in the back row there for Mergo as well, and he's looking quite fit as well. He's just here in front of us, isn't he? He's, uh, yeah, mate, got some pretty pretty class players out here. Like they're, they're all, um, you know, they they're all been in the game for a long time, so yeah. they have some experience about them, which is you know, which is what you want with young kids as well. So absolutely, they look yeah. like they've got a good mix actually, because there are a, lot, a few young boys uh, in there in amongst them all. So a uh, bit of old and bit of young, so we'll see how they go. So far, so good. <coughs> East Coast Sharks, the benches. Heads up, heads up, put that one be put that one behind you and let's go. So let's see if they can hold out these, this mer this Merga side. This, uh I think we have issues with uh, the ball <laughs> on the tee at the moment, aren't oh, we? Oh, they're having trouble people holding it. All sorts of things. It's been falling off. It's been falling off the tee. It's been hectic. So. And you'd imagine it won't go too far. Look at this hit held up in the wind. It's only gone 10 metres. Out on the fall, that wind. Wow. It's ridiculous. Yeah. The poor old number four, he can't take a trick at the moment, Michael Butler. He's, uh, he was the one who dropped the ball here, and now he's just put out these. He's got his hands on his <laughs> hips. <laughs> he's kicking stones. Come on, buddy, get over it. Put it behind oh, you now. Mate, that's life, mate. That's yeah. all it is. Yeah, just get on with it. You won't get own. the rub of the green. That's all good. Now we've got two footies on the field. Let's get rid of one. Yeah, you'd definitely kick for touch. This could go dead yet. <laughs> oh, no. Nice. He hasn't found touch with the wind. That's interesting. Great, strong carry. Good kick return, that one. Play two as they work, out, work their way to the left. This looks, uh, this looks like a pretty ominous set here. Oh, throws the dummy. Number six, Thomas Casey. Coming half run, he's got a bit of support there. Yeah, they're just a little bit, bit, bit off, aren't they? A little bit flat-footed there, um, not pushing up together. There's an yeah. opportunity there where they could have went up with the marker, but yeah, they were just left behind. Yeah, they're looking a bit, um, oh, just a bit clunky. Uh, you know, it might be it's only their first or second game together. We don't know. So um, late in the afternoon as well. Late like, in the afternoon, yeah, the bodies game. are still. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was talking to Willie about that a bit earlier about um, playing every kind of hour or so and. Oh, that looked very ominous. He uh, took yeah. him on on play on on, on play five and uh, just threw the hail mary. So, not a good completion set to the uh, East Coast Sharks. But um, turnover here on halfway. Travi Wadu will play the ball. The Big Ten's winding up, nice and straightforward for him. Uh, big Sage Yasso. He's got a bit of a wild haircut too there. Um, these guys have got some crazy haircuts these days, Tinger. What do you reckon? Oh, mate, they're not, they're not <laughs> hair do's, mate. They're hair don'ts. The hair don'ts, I like it. <laughs> so Big Travi. Oh, bump. He's got bump. He's beaten everyone, everyone three times. He's, he's got spiders on him. <laughs> Quick play the ball as they come out here to the right. Cut out ball. Branko Lee overs. Flick. That's what you kind of expect from uh, <laughs> oh, Branko. He's kind of trademarked that kind of uh, play, hasn't he? He's just a bit too brilliant. Um, hasn't he? What? Like yeah. he, he just, you know, he just. I love, I love um, young, um, young Brenton. Uh, just he, he, he didn't overrun it. No. He, he knew what Branko could do, and he, he um, just sat back, waited, waited, and then when Branko popped the ball to him, yep. mate, he was he was on the fly. That's so that was it. great timing there. To, well, let Branko do his thing, yeah, and then once he does that. Yeah, they all look like they're in sync, don't they? Was that um the two that scored that try? Yeah, Brenton yeah, yeah, young, young, young Brenton Byer. Brenton Byer, yes. Um, but like, yeah, yeah, that was, was um 
that was like uh, shelling peas for big old Brinko. He's um, been doing that to the best defenders in the NRL. So <laughs> poor buggers out there on the East Coast Sharks to, to handle his frame. He's um, He looks like he's um, already had a, pretty, a reasonable off-season. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> old Brinko. But, uh, no, he's... Uh, his class and um, this is going to be a quite a easy, uh, quite a good kick here, um, right on the touchline. He's got the breeze behind him um, as 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 Mulga lead eight points to nil uh, in this in this uh, last game for the day here at the Murray Carnival on day one against the East Coast Sharks. Uh, what do you reckon? Just aim it to the to the nearest post and just let the wind take it. Just mate, I honestly think it is dead set straight. The wind's directly behind him. Just black dot it, mate. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, like, yeah. No, like I don't think there's too much swing in it. I think um, the wind's uh, just like that, mate. Just do that. There we go. Yeah, Look just do that. that. Look at that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Ten points to nil. Mulga over the East Coast Sharks. Well done to the six. Trey Benito. Yeah, I think with the East Coast Sharks, they, they've just got to be patient. Get be patient. They're trying to trying to score every play. Yes. Just get into the grind. Get into the grind. It'll happen. Yep. You got to create that. You got to create that. Uh, you get through your sets. You know, run hard, play the ball, get to your kick, and don't get bored with it. At the moment, they've just been a little bit ch um, clunky. Oh, that's a little bit of a knock on, oh. if you don't mind. Oh, yeah. Offside. Here's their chance. Here's their chance. They get a scrum. Tw 10 metres out from the line. This wind's uh, played havoc all day, to be honest with you. It's hard to catch that footy, especially when they do that kickoff where it's squ uh, swirling across the, off the side of the boot and it just gets on the wind and you just can't catch it. Oh, a bit like your, a bit like your golf swing, mate. You like my, the yeah, ball yeah, and yeah, that's that's right. that nice slice, I mean, fade you get. No, that's called a shank. Oh. <laughs> that's, a shank. <laughs> that's, right, that's exactly right. <laughs> here they come on the attack here. This, the, the, Got to yeah. get there, run a bit harder. Yeah, they're just sort that of going, a bit just turning it. Yeah, yeah no. a bit tentative. There this you go. four, this four. That's there you go. go. There's our four. Yeah, that's well, all it takes. He's yeah. the first guy to go. Run hard. That's right. He actually made up for his mistake earlier, dropped the ball. He's picked that's it up, it. made up for it, picked but the chin up. Yeah, he just got out dummy after, didn't he? Just got out and just run hard. Run hard. Yep. That's what you do. Just run hard. Run hard. See what happens after that. Play the ball. So. That's exactly right. They answer straight back, the East Coast Sharks. Ten points to four, kick to cup. The four's looking to look to uh, convert his own try here as well. So um, He's had a bit of a mixed bag at the moment, Mitchell, Mitchell, uh, Mitchell Butler. So um, pretty sure he can get this one over and uh, see how we go. So... Only 10 minutes gone in this game, and, uh, you know, game on now, 10-6. Yeah, that was that what the yeah. East, Coast, East Coast Sharks needed, yeah. mate. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They just need to get the ball back, and now they've got the ball back, you know, build a bit of confidence. But, yeah. again, they they just got to be confident in themselves. Yeah, they're playing against some good players that have played NRL and playing, you know, in the Q Cup. Yeah. But still, you know, they're human, mate, just like you guys. Absolutely. This wind's bloody causing the footy to fall off the thing, and now he's hit the post. He's <laughs> <laughs> actually right at the post. He, he's had a, uh, he's having a, bit, a mixed day, uh, poor old Mitchell Butler. So ten points to four. Yeah, he's a bit hard on himself. He is. He, he just like, like like we said. He just he does, mate. He takes it to heart, doesn't he? He just yeah. needs to relax. <laughs> just relax, mate. You yeah. know, just deep breaths. These breath. things happen. These things happen. Ten four. We're all. It's all good. Yeah, he looks like an emotional type of player, so he needs to just calm the farm. Yeah, so I'm putting the pressure on himself. Here we go. Big, long, deep kickoff that's gone dead. Gone dead on the full. No. The dropout. They've uh, found touch. That touchy sort. Again, that wind, eh? It's, uh, you know what? It was the touchy on this side was in position. This fella here was a bit short, so... Um, he's called it literally. <laughs> yeah, he's our me little mate. He is from last year too. He does a good job though. A little touchy, about three foot nothing. But he's always upbeat and smiling. So good on him. This ball's up in the air, nice and high. It's gonna float backwards. It's gonna go. Oh yes, well taken. 
Play one, 30 meter, 20 meters out here for Murga. They're on the attack. They're lining up, running hard. Let's see if the Sharks can hold these guys out. They're coming through the front door. Yeah, nice strong run. Yeah, two really good carries to set this up, and now they're going to let it sing out through Travi Waddell. There he is, Travi with the ball. He goes out the back. Here's Fuller. Just that wind, uh, just can't get those uh, long passes, eh? They need to shorten them up. Mate, they, they, how do you put it? They just played that. They took a step play. Like a training drill. They, yeah. If you're going to play them drills out the back, out the back and set moves, you've actually got to go to the line. Yeah, they've got to go over the yeah. line, don't they? Yeah. They just put themselves under pressure by um, just doing everything too early. Too early, yeah, you're right. Defences also, they just chew that up. They just wait for you to get to the line, so... This is more like it, just, oh, I would like to see a forward be doing that instead of the six, but um, the six rolls his sleeves up, but Thomas Casey, there we go, Could there's play the carry, ball, yep. play the ball, couple more of those, the set's fine, get down, get down, yeah, good defence there, they're in numbers, Murga, they're in numbers, play three, 25 metres out and the wind gets stronger. Another nice play of the ball. That's play four. They've get they've got to the 30 meter line. Just shifting the attack a little bit to the edge there. That's fifth and last now on the 40 meter line. Get to their kick. Go down the short side. Chip and chase. Oh, six to go. Gets the ball back. Good footwork. The six. Oh, he's kicked on first tackle. Why, why, oh, why? Yeah, That's a coach yeah. killer. Yeah, play the ball. Didn't play at it. it I think he might have. Yeah, it? number six there. I think uh, you know, Thomas Casey just lost his head a little bit there. And uh, it was six again. Did everything right. And then just overplayed his hand. So one thing you can't do to Mulga is give him uh, cheap footy and possession. <laughs> They're going to... Oh... How lucky is that? Yeah, that was lucky. There was a little hand in the in the in the play the ball there by Ezra Walker, but he got away with it. Um, but yeah, you can't give Murga cheap sets. They're gonna they'll put you to the sword. So hopefully the East Coast Sharks can uh, sort themselves out here and uh, just consolidate this set. Be happy with a repeat. Absolutely, just play your sets. Don't run. Don't try to run across field too much. Just run straight. You know, you want to score wide, just short ball, short ball, and then go wide. That's it, play direct. There's a nice carry from the three. Very nice carry. Clifford Timms. Back in the middle there through the... Oh, he run at the little, <laughs> the little fella in the middle. Just put his body on the line. Quick play the ball here. As they shift it out to the right ears. Casey Thomas again. Oh, show and bang. Needs to make a better decision earlier. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Double knock on. And look Lucky before he just, caught the ball. Yeah, trying to change directions. So. A little bit clunky here at the start of this game. Uh, as you said, it's probably their second game for the day. Um, both teams and, you know, warming up and getting that body tuned back in again uh, is going to take a little while. Uh, a lot of these guys are at the end of the season as well. So they've had a couple of weeks off and it's all a little bit clunky and the body needs to recoup and... There's a nice strong carry. Don't lift him. Good numbers there, East Coast Sharks. Here's Georgetown. He's coming down the right-hand side. Finds his front. Play the ball. Travi Waddell inside dummy. Yeah, good defence. Oh, one on one. No, penalty. Yeah, 2v1. Guess who? Guess who? Oh, one, one on one. Yep. Guess who? The actual tackle was complete. Michael Butler. Yeah. <laughs> he's having a he's having a mixed bag. Oh poor old Michael Butler, but he'll be right. Here we go. Coming oh, in the it, commentary it, box. Yeah. 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 Oh. Hey. <laughs> hey, Murga on the attack again. Oh, they've come over halfway here. As they get a quick play of the ball. Winger in. Nice, well, nice legs tackle by the 11. As they're shifting out to the left now through Waddell. Waddell will show, go. Oh, big strong contact there. Play three. 20 metres out as they swing it out to the left. 
looking for Benko Lee. Oh, it's an ordinary pass. And there, Sharks. Nope, he's going to call knock on. Let's have a scrum here. We're going to see a lot of that, I think, when you throw that long ball in this wind. That uh, plays havoc and, um, yeah, it's very, oh, yeah, just a tough one to catch under pressure. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I'd hate to be a fullback in this weather, mate. Yeah, it looks like it's coming to you slow and all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden with the wind, it, 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 yes, yeah, it gets fast, quicker than dips, you think. It dips on your late. Uh, <laughs> all sorts of things. So. East Coast Sharks, they survive again, 10 points to four here uh, midway through the first half, and he's just knocked that on uh, play one. Play one, it's uh, again passed behind there, so uh, yeah, just yeah, you got to get the pass out front. You they're shooting themselves going. in the foot. You cannot give yeah. Merga, oh, sorry, um, Mulga, um, early cheap possession, uh, this close to your line, and uh, I think uh, they'll be just too classy here and they'll put on a bit of a oh, knock on, knock on as well. <laughs> Need to sort each other out here. They're just, uh, yeah. they're just it's a bit... Um, giving each other a... Um, bit yeah. ordinary, giving each other chances. Absolutely. Ten points to four if you just joined us. We've got Mulga in the orange uh, jerseys running from left to right as you're looking on the screen. And they're playing the East Coast Sharks. Uh, it's ten points to four to Mulga at the moment. And uh, East Coast are on the attack. Wow, that was big contact. <laughs> There's some more big contact in this smiles as, or as well. So, dummy half run. Number 11, he's um he's rolled the sleeves up, this fella. Brock Elridge. Brock Elridge. He's had a couple of really strong carries uh, so far this set. So. They've, got, they've got to go one pass. They're running straight into, you know, three or four. You know, the brick wall. Three or the four. Brick four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, you take it to the line. Just one off the ruck. Take the line. Just tip on, like, two yeah. pass play. Bit smarter, eh? Play a yeah. bit smarter instead of harder. Yeah. Go to the A or B, A, you know, the, the, the C, D defender. Oh, he's fighting there in the in attack as they go to the fifth and last. They're on the half, on the 40 meter line here. Last tackle. Oh, oh. he didn't know about it. And now uh, Mul Mulga have uh, well shut done. him down there. Good defense. Great Good defense. defense, yeah. Just the awareness, um, just the awareness of what tackle it was and things like that. Great, great line speed. Franco Lee, he comes in, rolls the sleeve up to take one out of yardage. Well, Mulga are looking a bit bunched here. Looks like they just need to consolidate this uh, consolidate this set and just get back to the basics. Here's big Travi Waddell rolling it forward again. That's his third or fourth carry for this half. Dummy half run. Oh, it's a little bit high, just a little bit. No malice. No malice in it, but just caught him a little bit high. And uh, Mulga are going to get a repeat set here. Off the back of a penalty, slightly high shot there by uh, the East Coast Sharks. Number 11, Brock Elridge. Um, they're going to take the tap. This wind's too dangerous to kick. Good carry. The big 15 with a bit of hit and spin. Leon Wood. Start, elbow, you know, elbows and knees. Elbows and knees. Quick. Play the ball. Dummy half four. This fellow has come off the bench. Uh, Terry Nonna. He's um, looked a little bit of a threat already uh, in his first couple of carries. He's got a bit of speed about him. Oh, there's a good whack. Shantae Prince, he gets whacked from the Sharks. Travi Waddell, show, go, try. <laughs> old Travi, the old show and go, eh? Show. With a left foot step. There's a little bit less go in those old legs, but uh, yeah, he's got definitely a, yeah, a bit of show and go off that left foot, eh? Oh, yeah. Mate, Travi's, um, he's actually been out at, um, out of Gundy Windy coaching, so he's doing a great job out there, the boys out there at Gundy. Yeah, he actually uh, captain coached, I think, last year, was it? Now he's coaching this year or something? Or? Yeah, yeah, I've seen I think he plays, throws the boots on whenever there's someone needed. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's good to see old Travi. I had a lot to do with Travi when, we're, when he was at the Raiders. Uh, he's a good bloke, and, uh, yeah, we definitely keep in touch, old Travi Waddell. Yeah, no, he's going real well out there to be followed, doing great for the community. Yeah, I think they, did they win the grand final the first year we went out there, or they got beaten the final? I'm not yeah, too sure. He was. Um, oh, yeah. He definitely made the grand final the first year. He took uh, Gundy to the grand final. So a couple of McGrady boys out there were playing as well. So couple, a couple, yeah, couple. David and <laughs> yeah, there was about four or five of them. <laughs> Where the try, the try has been converted by Michael Morton. So that makes it 16 points to four. Murga leading the Sharks. 16-4. Uh, at the back end of this first half, there's only a couple of minutes left till half time, and uh, 
look for the short kickoff here into this uh, howling breeze again. <laughs> I can't even call it a breeze, I'll tell you. It's a gale force wind. Uh, there's, it's definitely not a breeze. No, it is. Uh, yeah, and it's cold. It's a cold breeze. It's got icicles on it, and it's coming off the Antarctic. But um, here we go. The East Coast Sharks throw it up in the air again. Look at it. It's coming back now. Oh, yes, they do get it back through Terry Nonna. Oh, it just, it just oh one on one steal. It's, it's oh, now he, no, play on. Oh, yes, look at that. Great carry. Good tackle, too. He's all over him. The dreadlocks are... Oh, he's knocked that ball on in the play the ball. Very Comedy good. of errors here just oh, before halftime. It? It's a good game, but a messy game. Yeah. You know, like yeah. No. Uh, I'll tell you now, Mulga won't be happy with uh, this uh, first half performance. Uh, they'll they'll be definitely want to be uh, a bit more clinical than that. A little bit of brilliance from uh, Trey Fuller for the first try. And then uh, a brilliance from Edric Lee there and Trevi Waddell. So um, only been a little bit of indi individual brilliance. They haven't really built too many tries. So, um, yeah, they'll definitely be uh, keen to have a chat to at half time and sort a few of these clunky things out. Oh, he's on the left-hand side. That's a nice play one. Here we go, play two, back to the middle. Nice, strong contact, Mulga. Half time. Yes, the referee's called half time. Here we are, half time in this four o'clock game here at uh, the Queensland Murray Carnival 2023. Uh, Mulga go into the half time break, 16 points to four. You've been here with uh, Nathan Blacklock and Mark Tukey. We'll just take a half time break and uh, we'll be back and speak soon.
Welcome back, Queensland Murray Carnival. This four o'clock game is about to kick off the second half. Mulga are playing uh, the East Coast Sharks here on field four. And uh, Mulga went into the break at 16 points to four. Um, and they had a very, uh, it was a very clunky performance in the first half. So I'm sure the coaches would have uh, got their message out to both sides. Just calm down, get to your kick and uh, see what happens after that. And uh, Mulga definitely had the, oh, error play for first set after half time. Coach Killer. Uh, Mulga definitely had the uh, wind advantage in the first half there, Nath. And um, absolutely, yeah, they did. It, it's a shame with that play. They didn't have to play that play. They want to try and score every play. Yes. You can't you get into the grind, get into it. I'm sure the coach would not have said at half time, Nathan, listen, just go bear and throw the ball around. <laughs> oh. But you try and score first play. Try and right? score yeah. on the first set if yeah. you want. Here we go. Again, Mulga on the attack, 20 metres out. First set of the second half, dropping Brinko Lee under. He just plays the ball, finds his front. Dummy half run, Georgetown, here he goes. Playing in the back row nowadays. He's slowly creeping into the front row, uh, poor old Georgetown. Uh, he'll end up there eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Play three under the post. They come out here to the left through Travi. He's got another show and go. Just short. Uh, they've held him up just short. Oh, the big man. Bye-bye. Big, big Lewis Wop. Oh, that is not fair. Lewis Wop gets a run up off the back fence, uh, gets a one-on-one -on -one and... Uh, yeah, the poor little fella had no chance uh, just next to the goalposts. And uh, Mulga capitalised on the uh, error of the East Coast Sharks uh, with through Lewis Wap, the front rower. Well, don't we love to see one of them crash over? Well, I've noticed nearly every play they've scored or made a break. Either Travi is either yep. run before to yep. create a fast play the ball. Yep. Or the creator yeah, of yeah, it, Yeah, he's, he's yeah. always on the back, on the, off the back of something he does. He's got his fingerprints all over it. Uh, I think every try so far, yeah, you're right. Um, he's got his fingerprints on it with a quick play the ball in the set. Or even a uh, show and little bit of go. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, not good. Here we go. Conversion. No, no. Here we go, just outside the upright, 20 points to four. Conversion is successful, 22 points to four. Mulga putting their, uh, putting their, putting the hammer down a little bit here early in the first half, uh, early in the second half, sorry. Um, East Coast Sharks try to score off the first play. Again, through the, throw the long ball. The wind uh, just plays havoc with the ball. I've, I've mentioned it in the call plenty of times, but unless you hear, you don't really, I don't think you get the gist of it. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Poor old Bo nearly got blown off the scaffolding here uh, earlier in the day, and she had to go get herself a jumper um, through Strutty's Where Your Buddies. And, um, yeah, Nathan's also, uh, wow, we. What a kick. He just, yeah, that was a tactical play, wasn't it? He kicked the top of the footy and just got it rolling uh, along the ground and, yeah, nearly impossible to pick up uh, for Mulga. So uh, the Sharks, they're uh, on the attack here. Let's see what they can conjure up. They're uh, 20 metres out, scrum just off centre. On the left-hand side, we've got um, Butler's scheming out here. He's talking to the six. Here he is. The, what's his name here? Thomas Casey. He's... Uh, he wants to have a lead with uh, Michael Butler out the back here. So uh, let's see what um, how they go here. Hayden Andrews is going to run a lead for him. There's that swinger. Look at it. Drops him under. Oh, a little round me up me off me. He's definitely a goer, this fella, this Casey. He's um, yeah, lot of he's, he's slight foot, isn't he? Wow. He's a good footballer. Like a ball runner as well. Yeah. Just, just sometimes overplays. Overplays and takes it too far. Yeah, you're right. Here's a 22 off the bench. Raymond, Robert Chapman. Nice carry. Tip on out the back. Here he is to Casey. That's a nice saw. Just a high pressure ball again. That's that thing about playing, overplaying, wasn't it? He probably needed to hold on to the footy here and 
Looks like he's sustained a uh, calf strain or he's grabbing the back of his leg here. Oh, there's a nice strong carry out of trouble. <laughs> he's tried to steal that one-on-one -on -one and nearly got it, but he was just not strong enough there. Oh, Georgetown, he's come in for another run from his back row. Oh, that's some. There's some sharp feet. There's that Brenton Bayer. Right around Bayer. Bayer. Brenton Bayer, yeah. Bayer, yeah. Oh, chip. Oh, no, no fullback full at home. There he is, the chase. The 16 chased his own kick. That was a. That was a reasonable play from Michael Morton. Now the Sharks have to bring it off their own line here. Play two, 20 meters, 10 meters out. There's a nice strong tackle in the middle there. Play three. There we are. There's a nice hard run. That's what they need more of. This is a better set. They're going to go a little bit wider now. That's play four. Fifth and last. They've got a lot of overlap here on this side if they go that way. Here he is. He's tried to overplay his hand again. Just he's, he's, he's throwing no look passes like yeah. why is? that needed to be kicked. <laughs> they've got yeah, a they, they've got a four thousand kilometre gale force wind behind them, <laughs> and they're looking to run it on the last. Like, and, come and, on. and the winger and the winger looking to <laughs> looking to put the kid like chase the, to kick. chase the kick. And he decides to throw it like mate. Oh, gosh, he's just he's just trying to over. He's, honestly, he's, he's get the get yeah. that headset off, Nathan. Get down there and give him a message for me, please. <laughs> Yeah, when the wind's low, it might be cooler down there yeah, too. Yeah, might, might be warmer. Get out of the wind. Uh, here we are, Marga on the attack. 20 out here. The number 20's come off the bench. He's made a bit of an impact uh, coming off the bench. We, that's Latorio Nonna. He's been solid since coming on the field. Oh, look at that. There's three the 20. Pass, you know, three-pass play. It was awesome. Slow play, play the Travis ball. Waddell there. Oh, it opens up the heavens. Yeah, he just rushed up out the yeah, line. Someone overread it, didn't they? Yeah, yeah just rushed up. Unfortunately, the nine just overread it there. Kajanu Doyle just come off the line, opened the gate for uh, the 16. Michael Morton to go in and score a try. So another try for the Mulga team here in the Orange, and they lead 26 points to four as they scored underneath the goalpost. Oh no, sorry, just to the right of the goalpost. Uh, Mulga looked, to, uh, looked like they have this one in the bag late in the first day of the Queensland Murray Carnival 2023. Um, this is uh, game six of for the day. Uh, each team in the men's and women's competition played two games today. And uh, they go and get round again tomorrow in like a round robin uh, format. And then uh, they'll play in the semis and and uh, quarterfinals, etc. on Sunday. So um, they go home, get on ice, and uh, I'll get on the, in the ice baths. <laughs> get, on the ice, they yeah. they get on the ice? Get on the ice? Yeah, get in the ice baths. Uh, in the and, ice uh, baths, yeah. Yes, and um, go around and do it all again tomorrow. That's going to be the challenge. Uh, uh, the cream's starting to rise to the top here with Mulga and uh, Perga again. Uh, uh, very good. Um, did you say uh, the... Um, Darkies, uh, is it the Darkies connection or something like that? Uh, Brisbane Darkies or something? Uh, natives. Natives, sorry, yeah, they're um, they're going well as well. Um, yeah, the Brisbane so Brisbane natives. Brisbane um, natives. Yeah, there's a couple of couple of sides going very well. Um, yeah. The coastal coastal sharks. Um, is it the coastal sharks? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Got some really good sides here, you know. But I'm like this side here that's playing, you know, the um, the blue Morgan. side. Yeah, oh, no, no, these coast sharks. sharks. Like, coast they sharks. have a great side. They're just not only. They're just not. No, they're not playing together, they're playing against yeah, each other. Yeah, yep. No one knows what's going on. Yep. So. Bit clunky. Now, that kick was successful, so that's uh, 28 points to four to the, to Mulga over the East, East Coast Sharks. And uh, they're coming off their line again. They're going to roll their sleeves up. They've had to work for their tries, I'd say, that in the second half. They're, um, they're, they're still constructing really good sets. They're running from dummy half. Getting the big forwards, power running, playing the ball fast like we do again there. Quick play the ball on the right-hand side. They go down the short side. This fellow, the two's been dangerous. This is uh, Bearer. Brenton Bearer, yeah, yeah Bearer. He's, um, he's definitely been uh, 
a handful every carry he's had today. Looks like uh, Mulga have put on, uh, got a lot of their uh, guns uh, or XNRL guns off the field and they're getting all the bigger numbers, they're getting a little bit more game time, which is a smart idea being that it's a, um, it's a long couple of days of footy, so um, yeah, uh, well, well done to these Coast Sharks, they, they handled that set. Yeah, they've done really well, yeah. Let's see if they can uh, like just get out of trouble here and go down and put a bit of pressure on them on Mulga. See if they can uh, get some scoreboard. Yeah, some points on the scoreboard. Points on yeah, the scoreboard. Yeah, I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Caught me in, caught me in uh, on deep thought then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dummy half run. Oh, nice. Yeah, a nice high, carry just the over yeah, the 40 metre line. Slow play of the ball. Early ball, 40-20, there we go. Put his foot over the line. He touched it, he touched it. No, he didn't touch it. That's a play of the ball, no touch. Well, get the snicker meter out. Yeah, they yeah, went for yeah, snicko yeah, there. Know, a little snicker meter. <laughs> <laughs> Thought he touched it, but no, no. It was a bit of a shank kick, actually, to be honest with you. So, uh, Mulga back on the attack. Uh, just on the 40-meter line. Dummy half run here from the nine. He's been Tanu Nonu. There's a Nona. There's a few Nonas in this uh, Mulga team. And there's a nice carry too. They roll to the halfway line, 50 metres out. Big fella, yes. Good legs tackle as well. That's play three. That's, that's a lot better. That's it. Oh. Oh. That's scrap. a harsh penalty there. The Mulga, Mulga have been let off the hook. Haven't they? What? Yeah, he just, you know, he, he moved out of dummy half and, yeah, yeah, it's a uh, rule. They, I think he had markers not square or inside the 10, not yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Travi. Travi's spin. bump and run. Off, and the, off to the right. He, dummy. He's a big handful out there too, the 12. Still going. Yeah, Rakeen, uh, uh older. But see how he didn't overplay? He yep, didn't, just yep. find the ground, play the, the ball. Patience. Nice. Drop him under, run hard, get down, stupid offload, play on. There you go. <laughs> yeah, oh. real excitement. Yeah, just stay calm. Now they're going to get a penalty. I don't know what that's for. Yeah, the referee said, play on, quick tap. They're not ready. He goes, Michael Butler again. He's been uh, again. He's been. It's been a bit of a mixed bag, but he's. Uh, you know what? He's trying. He's competing and he's trying every play. So uh, good on him. Whoa. There's a strong carry. Yeah. Really strong carry. Oh, oh, that was a little dummy half. Fumble. Yeah. All offside. Oh. All offside. Yeah, I think that's a get square one. That's going to go... That's going to go into the next suburb. Oh, no, it's good. Hit the <laughs> fence. Hit the fence. Hit the fence. <laughs> <laughs> Kick for touch there. 20 me 30 metres out here. East Coast Sharks get a rare opportunity to show a bit of attacking football. They rip one in nice and hard. Yeah, that's a nice strong carry. 20 metres out. Gotta play be, one. Got to be patient. Just be patient. Be guys. patient be here. Patient. Yes, be, get the don't ball. Don't overplay. Don't overplay. Nice. Okay, now. Yeah. Go one on one. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Great skill. And that's all it was. Number wants. 25. I don't have a name for him. But that's all it was. You know what? They just ball, give them an opportunity. Give them, you know, they... That's it. Early ball, early ball. That's right. It's Nothing not silly. No, don't overplay your hand. Don't throw the long ball. They just went hit through the hands there. Bang, bang, three passes. And great skill shown by number 25, the big fella. I don't have a name for him, but... um, He, um, yeah, just well balanced, isn't he? For a big bloke. Just, yeah. Arms up, got some pace on him, but yeah, just come out and get yeah. the ball. Like it's that's it, just give him early ball. Bounced. That's what he should do. Give him early ball to take him on. So yeah. just bounced off that left foot, and um, yeah, really good, great try. I think he's even had a well earned rest because uh, that was so good. <laughs> there, multiple changes on here. Number 25, he's just out in front of us. What's your name, son? What's your name? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, we'll get it. We'll find out for you. 
We'll call him Bala. For the full time being Bala. Young. Here he is in, he He's comes in, oh, oh just boy. across the face. He might be one of them players that haven't been unlocked yet, so. Yeah, well, yeah, he's, um, like I said, he's competing on every play. Yeah. This Michael Butler, the four, the goal kicker, but he's um, made some errors, he's uh, done some yeah. good things, and uh, a <laughs> no, bit of a mixed bag. I'll talk about number 25. Oh, 25. We, we yeah, haven't well, unlocked him yet to give you your name, so. Yeah, well, mate, this guy, he could be anything. He's still locked up, so, yeah, yeah. yeah his name's locked, so I think we'll have to to a certain level to give his name out yes we, we've uh, we've sent our little flyer out to find out who he is and what's his name and uh we'll, re we'll report back to you very soon on that mulga big high sitting up in the breeze it's going to be a 50 50 i think there's going to be a penalty here play on yeah play on here we go as they they're not going to die wondering this uh east coast shark side hang on We've got a knock on by Mulga. Knock on by Mulga. Okay, we've just got uh, word. Brent Barnes is the number 25 who scored the try. Brent Barnes. So we'll put that down on the sheet. Brent Barnes, eh? Yeah, they're Barnesy. Hey, we don't know much about him, but he's uh, got a bit of footwork. BB. BB. Here we go. Just there. They consolidate again. Just go forward. Hold that footy. Oh, that's a dodgy call, ref. I, I don't agree. I don't agree. But anyway, loose carry. Mulga on the attack again. They get the good ball. Let's see what they can do. I think Travi Waddell's still out there, is he? Uh, no, he's not out there. So they've got all their uh, big names off the field now. So let's see what this young group of uh, men can do. Here we go. Play one, show. Go. Still going. Still going. Bends twice, spins, yeah, and gets to ground. What a good run. Yeah, nice run. <laughs> yeah. The big number 12 rolls his sleeve up yet again. He's had a good gate, good couple of carries as well. Rakim Alda. 16. Spins, spins. They're defending all right, the East Coast Sharks. They're uh, holding them out here as they go to shift. Oh, oh. Drops him oh, under. Uh-oh. Wappy, oh, oh, offload. What a tackle. Great tackle. Great tackle. Actually, great work by uh, the Sharks there. They defended well, and they got on that loose ball nice and quickly. So um, they're struggling to get out of trouble here. I think the Mulga Sharks are a bit, uh, sorry, Mulga are a bit angry, and they're uh, muscling up here, and <laughs> they've gone nowhere in three plays, and I think they're going to get a knock on here, yeah. <coughs> Force the error. And um, we got the six down in back play. Uh, Thomas Casey looks to see like he's got cramp or yeah, something off with that cramped. foot. Yeah, that's his cooking, kicking foot, mate. His cooking foot. His cooking foot. That's his cooking foot. That's his cooking foot. His cooking foot. Yeah. There'll be no cooking tonight, then. No cooking. He'll be given. Yeah, I know the cramps. You can't get rid of them, can you? Nah, they're a pain in the bum when you got them. Oh. You got them. You might need that. What are they doing now in the NRL? Pickle juice or something. Pickle juice. Get the pickle juice out. The I've pickle. never heard of it before, but anyway. The old salty water's yeah. enough. <laughs> Here we go. Bounce. Uh-oh. Oh, Too quick. Fire. Oh. Gee, oh. I thought that went forward, but they're going to yeah. get away with it. Too skillful, that Breton Byron. isn't he? He's, oh. uh, he's a class player. Do you know much about him? You know him? Yeah, I yeah. He was up in Mackay. I was in Mackay. Um, okay. Spent a bit of time uh, as a young kid, watched him play footy. He's grown over the years. Uh, yep. Like I said, Lois, uh, Royston Lightning's young fella. Okay. Um, yeah, he's just worked very hard in his footy game and, mate, he's got the talents of his dad and, of course, of his mum, but, mate, he's, <laughs> he's very good in his feet, isn't he? He created he's opportunity a, there, eh? He's an athletic, athletic looking thing, too. He's um, He'd be 6'2 and. Oh, yeah, very can, tall human. Yeah, yeah, it's um, good. I just didn't grab that try scorer. Did you see who that was? Yeah. Number five? 
Yeah, number five. Number five. We'll go in again. Joseph Pearson. We'll give it to Joseph Pearson. And uh, the score now is 32 points to eight. Uh, conversion was unsuccessful. So 32-8, Mulga with oh, five less than five. Yeah, five minutes to go here in this last game for the first day of Queensland Murray Cardinal 2003. Uh, 23, sorry. And, um, yeah, Murga have taking control of this game now 32 points to eight another short kick off here and the wind's got it oh yes he gets the ball back well done hang on there he was held he was held there when these guys these kickoffs are causing havoc aren't they into the wind against the wind play two oh one-on-one -on -one steal no quick play the ball dummy half run that's three as they're working out of that. Oh, that's touch. Six to go. Six to go, sir. Six again. There's zero tackle. Zero tackle. They're getting a bit fired up, the Sharks. Here he is again, the two. Oh, nice oh, short ball. Well held up. Yes. Well held up. Great vision. He's a seven as well as a two, is he? Ball player. <laughs> Looks like there. he's playing a bit of everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he was on the wing early, so putting him back yeah. at the fullback, he's getting involved. Ah, he's can, at fullback he? now, gotcha, yes. He's sniffing, he's sniffing up the middle. I love the way he plays, he's yeah. just pushing up every play. He's always scheming, Hanging I around, like that's it, right. I like that. He's on the footy, there's oh. a little knock on. Just tried to play the ball slightly too quick, and uh, they've come up with an error here. Um, yeah, it looks like uh, Mulga have uh, put the cue in the rack. Um, they're happy to uh, yeah, just waste, time. waste the time here now and uh, go and go home with uh, injury free. Eh? Get get back to the hotel and sort it all out. I yep. think the whips will start cracking tomorrow. Oh yeah, yeah. Get good rest tonight. Yep. Best thing about playing today, we, we all talk about pre-game. Uh, it's all about looking at yourself post-game as well. You know. Yep. Getting the right um, energy levels up, back up, and ready for tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> no, they'll uh, yeah have a good feed tonight. There's play one. Sharks coming off their line. Oh, there's some big collision. The 16 come out of the line. Michael Morton. Great body contact. Here we go. Oh, another good oh, contact there. another good hit. Is too. he out? He is out. I think just to see us through the half time, he is out. Uh, full time? Oh, full time, sorry, yeah. Yeah, no, no. He's up, he's up. I think you got a cheap one on the chin or something like that. Yeah. For our viewers that uh, probably don't know, uh, we are running with uh, the uh, HIA standards uh, for that the NRL run. So if a player does uh, get a head knock and is a Cat 1, Category 1, they will be stood down for the rest of the game, of the day, sorry, uh, and they'll have to do a medical test to play the next day. Uh, and also if it's a Cat 2, they'll do a uh, off-field investigation into uh, a test as well um, to see if they could take the field again so there's uh, we've got absolutely fully qualified paramedics and star medical staff um, on the sideline and uh, all, all over the place here at the ground so um, yeah we're just uh, the, the the player welfare is for uh, foremost uh, the most important um, here and uh, I would be Rushing these players off as soon as I can there, Tinger, because hypothermia could set in at any time. Like we've got already. <laughs> yep. Uh, it could, but, yes. yeah, no, you're right. I think, yeah, call the game. and um, <laughs> There's only a couple to go. You know, it's not going to make a difference. What's the treatment for frostbite, mate? <laughs> Coffee? I've tea? I've oh, I need a cup of tea. A nice yeah. cup of yeah, I nice warm I, I cup of tea. I think I could have frostbite with, in my with, hands. With the socks on. <laughs> with the socks on. <laughs> with the socks on. <laughs> uh, Yes, I look forward to a nice warm shower before the footy tonight. Uh, Panthers versus Melbourne Storm down there in Sydney. And uh, tomorrow night I'll be fortunate enough to be at the Suncorp Stadium watching the Broncos and the Warriors. So up the Waz! Up the Waz! <laughs> up the Waz! Yeah, I, I, I think they're going to do it tough uh, tomorrow, to be honest with you. Um, Brisbane Broncos and the Melbourne and uh, the Penrith Panthers are definitely the yardstick. But... Um, yeah, anything can happen in these hey, games. Semi-final eh? football, mate. I love anything, it. Anything Great can time of the year to be watching the footy. So, all I can say is up the waz. Uh, I was over there last last uh, week. Yep. Uh, when they had the win over there. So, um, 
yeah, looking forward to that. Oh, there you go. Uh, they've called time here. Uh, that's the end of game, end of play for this game and for the day. Uh, you've had Mark Tukey and Nathan Blacklock in the commentary, commentary. box today, and uh, Mulgar have run out winners, 32 points to eight over the East Coast Sharks. We'll see you all next uh, tomorrow, <laughs> and uh, I was going to say next game. Uh, we'll see you all tomorrow, and have a good one. Thank you very much. Goodbye.